Hello and welcome to BIM Add-in Revit Tutorials. A series of tutorials on how, in a very simple way, to make excellent project presentations in Revit Continuous. In the previous tutorial, inspired by Adam Colors, we made a presentation of facades and sections using consistent colors uh, visual style. In that tutorial, among other things, you can see how to make bird silhouettes using a bird-shaped text font. In the previous tutorial, you uh, can also see how to add different colors to the plant families. I will share the link with the previous tutorial in the comments and description of this video. I was talking about making a tutorial on how to make a project presentation combining visual styles. For example, combining the hidden line visual style with realistic visual style. However, before that I would like to show you how to create realistic looking materials using uh, photo textures. And I would like to show you how to make visual adjustments to the realistic appearance of the material. This will also be uh, the training for and preparation for the next tutorial. What are you watching now is uh, example of combination between two visual styles, between hidden line visual style the background is uh, hidden line visual style and the realistic visual style. As you can see, the house is in realistic visual style. Uh, and now let's move on the topic of this tutorial. Here we have a mountain house. On the facades we have wooden elements horizontal and vertical wooden elements and i would like to show you how to create this kind of textures uh, this kind of realistic materials using photo textures uh, okay first of all i would like to create a material parameter on the generic facade modeled in place here is our uh, mountain house that I create uh, that I created for one of our clients and uh, we will use it uh, like uh, as a reference for this tutorial. I isolated uh, wooden facades elements and uh, and now I will uh, I will add these generic models and I will add I will add parameter material parameter for uh, facades. We we will have two types of material for horizontal wooden elements and for vertical wooden elements. This is our uh, material parameter. Okay, we will finish the adding of ma material. And now we will add materials for uh, f ma uh, material parameters for other parts of this facade. Okay. Materi material okay this is ready too <coughs> sorry okay we will add materials I think here we select the uh, void parts that cutting uh, our our facades Okay, here we can add the material element. Now we select all uh, from filters. We can uh, deselect the 
void parts and now we can add material parameter easily okay this one is ready too and we will reset we will turn off the isolation okay now as you can see here we have we have two types and we I will show you how to create materials with realistic textures and how to adjust their visibility all right okay here we select one of these parts and from here we can add the material type and now we will uh, add new type of material this will be a vertical texture this is my mother tongue but i will translate it in the english you can you can understand so you can understand uh, here we will add a surface pattern okay it will be a vertical pattern and now we will add texture of uh, wooden texture here it is clicking on the image uh, image you can uh, you can do some adjustments to this texture for example you can change the brightness and the changes you can see uh, in the preview here we can change the size of the picture of the texture okay I change the size so uh, we can uh, continuously see the texture on the facades all right now we will create a new type of material uh, this will be horizontal material and here I add zeros so you can see so uh, uh, our materials uh, can go on the top of the of the list so we can fi find them easily and here we will add a uh, horizontal uh, surface pattern when we open the hidden line uh, visual style this horizontal uh, patterns will be visible but in the realistic style we will see this texture here you can see it now we will change the the rotation uh, for now the, the the texture are horizontal changing the angle we will change we will make the horizontal texture and now we will change the size of the of the picture so we can see the these uh, wooden elements continuously and here it's uh, for now it's open hidden line visual style and here we have realistic style it's it's looking it's something like this uh, we forgot i forgot to add the parameter to add material on on this part okay it will be vertical we will copy using uh, control c and now control v we copy these materials okay and this is the this is our house this is uh, wooden elements and as you can see it's one very simple way to add the materials uh, to add textures and to create realistic materials and by changing uh, visual style 
in realistic you can see uh, our changes in the facade views in the elevations here is door and we turned on realistic visual style now you can see how it looks like um, here here we can see complete project of this of this mountain house and as you as you can see it's very one very simple way and in this way uh, we create we create a presentation like this this is a principle how how uh, I, I'm talking about principle you you can use it in a very different way with different textures now I will show you how to do some adjustments to uh, graphic visual graphics of these uh, realistic textures here we will go to the image okay and now changing the brightness you can create uh, different different variant of of uh, presentations okay now you will see how uh, now you, you can see the difference now the, the some part the horizontal elements are darker than than vertical swan then vertical ones okay playing with these adjustments you can you can do uh, great uh, great presentations now you can see this is our chocolate presentation white and black okay all right now we will do uh, the adjustments to okay go to materials uh, i will move this window so we can see the changes this is when we turn uh, off the brightness oh when we change the brightness to 100 okay and this this is when we this is how it looks like all right now here you, you can play till you find the, the the best solution for your presentations okay you can play with closeness and brightness and here it is okay let's see what happens now all right a little bit more okay i think see i think this this good this is uh, this looks good enough and in a 3d view uh, you can see how it looks like uh, okay uh, this is all for this tutorial and as i said before this is a training and preparation for the next tutorial 
uh, in which I will show you how to make uh, presentations of your projects using different uh, visual styles. For example, combining a hidden line visual style with a realistic visual style. Here you can see the examples of of uh, of one of of the project I I did. Uh, also, I will show you how to uh, adjust your background photo depend on how your uh, project how your facade look looks like and this is all for this tutorial see you in the next in the next video and sorry sorry one thing more i always uh, forgot to mention uh, please don't forget to subscribe and share my tutorials uh, with your friends and uh, colleagues. Now, bye bye till the next tutorial.